but I'm doing this um, video for Bill's 200 channel. I've, you've seen this before on my second channel, it was my um, four telephones, Chris for 2000 telephone channel. I'm going to show you why I want these. I'm not going to actually show you, I'm just going to explain it in, in by pointing up the terms, but I hope this gives some help. If not, I'll just do a video how to why I want these up because they are quite difficult. The main thing is, yours is a GPO variant of it. And mine is an Ericsson um, Telephones one, but still made in the UK. But most of them will have one of these pinned on the upper on the upper half of the or the upper half of the PBX switchboard. Now the way they wire up, if you're similar on the inside, the you need the main point thing you need is a 46 volt power supply but 40 volts is enough to get it going i've got mine on a 40 volt and it runs on 40 volts what i'm using here's an old panasonic panasonic power supply from my old pbx it's 40 volts and it's ac current so you've got to make sure it's ac current not direct current or it won't run so you connect your your connections here the power supply connections on these two bottom terminals here Plus and minus. I don't believe it which way you can connect it. I don't, it doesn't, I don't believe it's polarity sensitive if you put it anywhere your life will work. I don't know. But this one does do that on this one. I'm not sure about yours though. Just make sure that by looking at the diamond free wire up. Down here, you have your operator set. You connect. Yeah, it is. It's got three terminals. We put your tip and ring, or you put um, uh, the red there. And your green and white if you're using a telephone with a bell set. If not, you just put the red and green or red and white on on these terms from a two three two set or three three or six one two, so I should say. So you have the induction coil for the operators on this here. Now on the telephone side of things, um, that's your the two top terminals up here. Is your telephone exchange line in from the from the telephone exchange going here? I'm um, like if you're doing it from a PBX, you know, like I am. Um, when I do rewire this thing, I've moved house recently, that's why it's not wired up. Um, the wires, you know, just cut off cables, so I've no disconnected them yet. I should actually get those out if I can. Yeah, okay. I can use see. Um, you just wire everything, but pinned it in the 30s when these were made, um, which exchange you put it on. If it was a manual exchange, you connected it straight up and you didn't have to have a, um, uh, it depends on the exchange which operator set you use. If you're looking at it to a manual exchange, you, need to you just need to use a central battery phone. If you're going on a, a magneto, you need to have the operator with a magneto set, or if you're going on a dial exchange, you need a rotary dial telephone as the operator set. But your bell set, and your incoming phone line connect to these top terminals. That says line. The bottom, these two here is your extensions. You got extension one. These two here, extension number two. Extension three are these two. I'm not sure what these do though, because I've not connected them up. I don't know what these do. I've not mucked them up. I don't know what these are. But the main way you want to uh, um, use is that these two at the bottom for the power in, and this these two for the exchange line. These ones for exchange one, um, extension one. This one and this one for extension two, and this one and this one for extension. For yours should be have a similar way of a similar terminal block. Um. Anyway, you should see it written on the side here. I'm not sure what the extension line is, because it says that on there. I don't know what it means. But it does have that on there, but I don't know what it means. But the main ones you want to do is the top two, the second row, third row, and the fourth row, and the very bottom ones with the power in. So that's your exchange line. That one, and that one is your line one for extension one. That's extension to the two, those two. That one. And that one is extension three, and the bottom two is your forty-six volt in, but you need a forty volt and it will work AC current. And your operator's phone go goes white or red there, 
or right or, or right or right there, but these two line a two line phone goes in here. And use any phone, it'll work. But the correct phone to use would be for yours at least would be a free free, no, a two free two without bell set, or a one six two without bell set. With a road dial, of course, it will not work on your modern exchanges, but the best I do is do it via PBX, it'll work better. But I hope this helps. If not, I'll do a video with the wires in place and I'll explain what they do. This will be for Bill 200. Yeah, I do have two channels. I've got this one, plus the train channel, and I've got the two rest of the 2000 telephones with the other ones. But this is it, um, how to wire one of these up.